A warming shelter in La Crosse is responding to an increase in demand this summer. This after the La Crosse City Council voted to ban camping on all city-owned properties earlier this month. For Susan Nines, Dashiell Menzel has more. The charity's warming shelter has been seeing an increase in demand recently, and with the camping man on city-owned property beginning tomorrow, that increase is expected to continue. Unlike their 365-day shelters in Wausau and Eau Claire, Catholic Charities Shelter in La Crosse is only meant for the winter, but due to an increase in demand, they have expanded their hours this summer. Catholic Charities Advancement Director Rob Grover says it all comes down to cost. There's lots of agencies and there's lots of groups that, that are you know, trying to tackle the, the unhoused issue here in La Crosse. We're looking at how we can do more, but a lot of that simply comes down to funding. The shelter is open for daytime hours during various days of the week for those unhoused who need a shower or to wash their clothes. Catholic Charities officials say they are opening up on days where they are not 100% sure how they are going to pay for it. With the upcoming camping ban, Grover says they are expecting more demand in the coming weeks. I think it'll be just fascinating to see where folks go that right now are staying in parks or staying in the marshes or staying in other areas. Um, and again, we're, we're here to help as much as we can, um, but we'll be fascinated to see, see what happens there. Because of help from local donors, this is the first summer that the warming shelter has been available for special summer hours. In La Crosse, Dash Menzel, First News at 9.